clinch fists. And neither will 7%. Never be defeated. The workers united will never be defeated. So it's the first day of 12 days of industrial action that's lasting until 5am on the 30th of August. This is waste and cleansing workers across Edinburgh going out and strike for all local government worker pay in Scotland. So this is covering waste collection, street cleansing and recycling centres. The mood on the pickets has been very positive. Uh, staff are feeling very angry about the pay offer. I mean, we've been offered 2% originally, which is an insult. Costler then came back five months later and increased that to 3.5%. Again, not something we can even consider taking to the members with the cost of living crisis. So there's a lot of anger. So the union's uh, pay claim we put in in January was for £3,000 based on a 35 hour week and that's what we're going for. So this will mean the streets won't be being cleaned. We are on the high street today and we can already see there's litter flyers already one day of action and we've got that. Uh, household waste collection won't be getting picked up. Uh, basically all your waste and cleansing services your recycling centres will be shut. All depots across the city are now shut. Yeah, we'll see rubbish piling up. We're already seeing rubbish piling up on the high street here. We are out today handing out bags to visitors to Edinburgh, encouraging them to take their waste home to their hotel and have it disposed of there. But uh, uh, the waste will be piling up soon, so we need to see the Scottish Government get around the table very quickly. So the Council have issued guidelines for how we can mitigate things in these times, but inevitably the waste will pile up. There's a huge impact. It's a significant action for significant times. We're really in drastic times. The cost of living crisis. Members can't put food on the table. Come winter, they'll be choosing between eating and eating. So that's why we've been forced to take such dire measures. The key thing would be to contact the MSP. The Scottish Government have got a responsibility to provide public services to keep our cities safe, to keep our streets clean. And that primarily starts with making sure that you have a labour force that can do that. And currently, people are not getting paid enough to turn up to work. We've got the biggest cost of living crisis in living memory, and workers aren't getting the pay they need to do their jobs. And these are absolutely vital jobs. These were essential workers who worked tirelessly throughout the pandemic, often at great risk. They need to see a fair wage rise. I mean, of course, it'll mean some disruption. The strike was happening this to start from five o'clock this morning. It'll be on for around two weeks, unless the government and COD can come to an arrangement to pay a fair deal for the workforce. Um, so there'll be disruptions. The council and the trade unions have agreed some services that will continue for life and limb or emergencies, but primarily uh, communal waste and individual waste bins won't be collected for the, the next two weeks. So in the city centre here, there's a contract with uh, the festival organisers, so they're responsible for this part of the city, but uh, in the suburbs across the city, then we will, of course, see rubbish men up. We're encouraging people to look on the website and take the advice the councils to put on a bit, trying to store it rubbish at home if you can, safely in garages or sheds or wherever you can during the next two weeks, and hope that we can resolve the dispute as soon as possible. So I've written to the Deputy First Minister, um, asking him to call a meeting that the cause I spoke person and leaders to make sure we can come to an award that suits the uh, cause of leaders and the trade unions. Um, we've asked COSA to meet again sooner, the, the next meet scheduled for the 26th of August. We've asked that they meet sooner than that. If this strike behind us is only for two weeks in Edinburgh, then it'll go to Dundee and to Glasgow as well, and we need action. Now, we need to ask the government to get a back around the table with COSA and leaders and get a settlement out for the workers that we see behind us today.